Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Chris Winter and in this video, I'm gonna go through some of the key differences and similarities between two kind of different cameras. Firstly, the more expensive Canon 80D and the brand new budget camera from Canon, the Canon SL2 or 200D. And guys, if you wanna win a Canon SL2 or Nikon D3400, I'm currently giving one away. All you need to do to enter is subscribe to this channel and my brand new travel channel, which I'll link in the description box below. And also guys, if you haven't seen it yet, definitely make sure to check out my brand new list that I just made, the best cameras for video. I go through some of the cameras that would be best for you. So if you wanna check that out, I'll put a link in the description box below this video, you can take a look. But anyway, let's get started with this comparison. So I first wanted to start off this comparison by talking about a small difference, but one that might be important to you. And that's the inclusion of a headphone jack on the Canon 80D. Now this allows you to plug in headphones so you can monitor the sound that's being recorded during video. Now this wasn't included on the Canon 70D, which is actually the camera that I'm filming with now, but it was included in the 80D and it was a great inclusion. Unfortunately, the Canon SL2 doesn't include this, which is kind of to be expected, but it would have been nice to have. On the plus side though, both cameras do include a microphone jack, so you can plug in an external microphone and get some much better audio quality, which is a really important uh, feature to have on any DSLR. By the way guys, let me know in the comments below if you could win a Canon SL2 or a Nikon D3400, which one would it be? And I'll take a look at your comments. So of course, one of the biggest differences between these two cameras is their physical size. The Canon 80D is quite a large camera. Now it's not as big as a full frame camera like a Canon 5D Mark IV or even a camera like this one here, the Canon 6D Mark II, but it still does have a fair bit of weight to it. On the other hand, the Canon SL2 or 200D is a tiny DSLR. In fact, it's one of the smallest DSLRs in the world. Now both sizes have their pros and cons. Some people prefer to have a larger DSLR to help balance out heavier lenses like the 70 to 200. And of course, some people prefer a smaller, lighter DSLR to travel with. I'm on the latter side. I prefer to have a smaller DSLR so I'm not really feeling like I'm weighed down too much, especially when I'm traveling. And honestly, I think which one you'll prefer will be down to your own personal preferences. Let's now talk about the tops and backs of these cameras. And one thing you're gonna notice on the Canon 80D is its inclusion of a few more dials and a top LCD screen. On the other hand, the SL2 is pretty basic really, and as it should be for a beginner's camera. It's essentially just got a main mode dial and a shutter button. The 80D on the other hand has a top LCD screen which shows you some of the current settings. It doesn't really make you take better photos, but it is nice to have. The 80D also has a rotating dial wheel on the back, which can also be good for adjusting settings quicker. But again, it's nothing that's really gonna make you take any better photos. I could go on to touch on a kind of boring topic, but that's the topic of battery life. Now, the Canon 80D wins this one again. Uh, it uses these Canon LPE6 batteries, which I absolutely love. They just last for forever. The SL2's battery life is pretty good in stills mode, but I did find it struggled a little bit in video mode. You probably will wanna have at least one spare battery uh, if you're gonna be filming on the Canon SL2 for a whole day. So you probably know this by now, but both of these cameras have that awesome new dual pixel autofocus in video mode, and I'm happy to say that they both work pretty well. The SL2 is a ridiculously quick and smooth autofocusing camera, especially for the price. I was actually really quite surprised that Canon put dual pixel in pretty much their lowest grade uh, DSLR. It's pretty awesome. Both cameras track fast and cinematically, and both have brilliant face tracking, which works really well. In fact, I'm actually using dual pixel autofocus face tracking right now. And you can see that even as I move in and out relatively quickly, my face stays in focus and I'm shooting at f1.8, which is pretty crazy, even if I move to the side. So this is really good, especially if you're gonna be filming yourself doing YouTube videos like I'm doing right now. Now the 80D does have a few extra settings to adjust how quickly or slowly you want the autofocus to work. So that's something to think about. But overall, the SL2 really does match up to its bigger and more expensive brother. And I think it's important now to talk about price and value for money because this is an important thing for a lot of people. And this is really where I think the Canon SL2 is a real winner. Look, it's nearly half the price of the Canon 80D depending on where you buy it. And to me, that's a brilliant price. Look, as you can tell from this video, the Canon 80D is clearly a better camera. It's awesome. It's got more options, better specs, and is better built. But for a lot of people, the Canon SL2 is gonna be more than enough of a camera. With that extra money, you might be able to buy two or three more lenses and build up a kit, especially if you're just starting out. So which camera should you get? Well, it's pretty simple. If you're just starting out, I'd recommend getting the Canon SL2. There's no real point jumping ahead to the Canon 80D unless you're loaded with money and you don't really care. If you want a travel camera, I'd probably go for the Canon SL2, but if you want to take anything kind of relatively serious, I'd go for the Canon 80D. I've used it for a really long time and I love that camera and I think it's a better day-to-day -day camera, but 
Again, it really depends where you are in that kind of photographer bracket. So beginners, SL2, more experienced and wanting to push their camera a little bit more, go for the 80D. Either way, guys, you're gonna love both of them. So that was just a quick comparison between these two cameras. Hopefully it helped you even just a little bit. And also guys, if you haven't seen it yet, definitely make sure to check out my brand new list that I just made, the best cameras for video. I go through some of the cameras that would be best for you. So if you wanna check that out, I'll put a link in the description box below this video. You can take a look. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. Happy shooting and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.